Hey guys, it's me, Callie. Today I'm going to show you how I made these really cool cosmic dragon eggs just in time for your springtime celebrations. I made them out of plaster of Paris eggs and some supplies I had on hand at home. Super simple, super easy. Even the kids can do it. Um, if you're inspired, and I hope you are, stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is to paint our eggs black. So I got these on clearance last year. I think I got them at Walmart for like a dollar. These are kind of paper mache decorating eggs. Um, I wouldn't use plastic because the paint wouldn't stick unless you guys have knowledge of paints that would, but these are fairly common I think. And this egg stand is going to come in handy when we dry our eggs. So I just have some black acrylic paint in my palette dish. And I'm using up the end of my stash here. I have some Americana Multi-Surface Satin in black tie. And Americana Acrylic Paint in lamp black. And I've just kind of mixed them together. And I am just going to paint as much of the egg as I can and then let it dry and then we'll turn it around and paint the other side. So I'm just going to give these guys a good coat and I don't care if it's perfect or not because we're going to be going over these but try to get as much as you can um, and these dry fairly quickly too so go all the way around it's inevitable that you're going to get paint on your fingers unless you wear gloves. Okay, and then I'm just going to set that right in the dry in this rack here. And then when that dries, we'll do the other side. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this side is mostly dry, and now I'm just going to go in and finish up the other side. And I'll do all of these, and then when they're all dry, I will see you right back here, and then we'll start with the fun. Okay, these are nice and dry now, and I'll show you what I chose to do. I did two different things, and I'll show you the first one. It's the easiest. These aren't sealed yet, but you can get a good idea. Um, and I use nail polish for these, you guys. I have a lot of cheap nail polish. I pick up at the dollar store, and I've had for years. Lots of glittery colors and blues. I like to keep things in the purple and blue kind of family. Um, I'm always thinking cosmic galaxy kind of stuff. So that's how these turned out. Now this is just one coat of polish. Um, these two I did with this one. And these guys were done with this. And then I have these, which I think are really my favorite. Uh, with this, I paid a dollar for this. This is a wet and wild nail polish. Um, yeah, so you can really just, you know, do whatever you'd like. And then I also did some solid ones. Um, there's a navy blue and then this, like, teal kind of holographic-ish um, so that's just one coat, and if you want, obviously you can do two, and I will be sealing uh, these eggs, because I'd like to have them for a while, and I'm going to use this Americana acrylic sealer, uh, this one's a gloss, and make sure, you know, obviously using the nail polish or any kind of things with fumes, especially these, ideally work outside if you can, if not, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. You know, always use safety precautions when you're working with toxic chemicals. So, isn't that cool? And it was that simple, you guys. And I'll show you what I did to make my drying a little easier. I took a jar, and I took this cheap wire from the dollar store, and I just wrapped it around and formed a little circle like that. And I was able to rest my eggs there 
while I painted them and dried them. So improvise, use what you can. Um, I did that because I didn't want the cardboard sticking to them, but maybe you have better ideas. I don't know. That seemed to work for me. So that was easy, right? And then if you want, and I did one because I always love galaxy themed anything. Um, and the, this doesn't have sealer yet, so it will be glossier and I'll show you when we're, you know, everything's done. But I did do kind of a galaxy egg and all I did, I took this and I gathered up some old paints. I have, um, this is folk art in navy blue. Heather, magenta, I mean, some of these were so old I had to add water to them. Purples, um, I had some metallic black, and I literally just took a palette dish, and there are a million galaxy tutorials online, but for instance, I just squirted out a little paint, and you could use a makeup sponge. These little daubers work great, um, and I just go around just like this all over the egg and think of little nebulas and galaxies um, some people like to use like a darker red look at some other tutorials you'll see but I alternate the colors all over the egg and you can always you know if you make if you don't like it or you did too much Go back in with some black over it if you want. I think it adds depth to it. I usually wind up doing that anyway. Um, this is also good for covering any mistakes you may have made. Mistakes uh, when you initially did it. But just kind of back and forth all over the egg, right? And then when it's dry, and I'll show you on this one that is dry, um, for the stars... I just took some of this uh, Americana acrylic paint in Snow White. I already have a little bit here and I added some water and a good old toothbrush or however you want it. Some people use a fan brush and I just used my finger like this and splattered little teeny splatters all over the egg and that's your stars. Okay and if you want you know something that's a little more defined I have a liner brush here very small and just go in and obviously you don't want or I don't want a lot of definition because not that this is real but you know you're not gonna see the real shape of a star from light years away right so just kind of go in and maybe do a line and like a cross and then a little star, you know, like a spider shape. And I even can blot that out a little with my finger. I don't know how well you can see that, but kind of did that in a few places around. Okay, there's a good one. There's a big one. So, yeah, and then let that dry. And then I'm going to seal these. Now, you could also, if you're so inclined, take something like uh, this... Krylon pen or any paint marker and I mean obviously you guys know how to decorate eggs but you could write someone's name on these you could do a protective symbol you could do runes you could um, a heart anything happy Easter blessed Ostara you know uh, anything so let me know if this video has inspired you guys and I'm gonna give everything a quick coat of sealer and I'll show you back here what that looks like. Um, and yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Check out my other videos in the description box below. And I hope you guys are having a great day. So I'll see you back here when these are nice and sealed. And I have just realized I never showed you how I did the nail polish. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but I literally use the brush in the nail polish and paint it on. But as soon as I finished filming that segment, I said I never showed them how I did that. So that's it. Easy peasy, okay? Now I'll see you when they're all sealed. Okay, guys, these are nice and dry. I am in love with them. What do you think? Uh, they just look like jewels to me or dragon eggs, right? 
I hope you were inspired by this very simple little DIY. Um, I had a lot of fun, and I know that these are going to last a long, long time. If you're inspired to try something like this, I would love it if you let me know about it. I'll go check it out. And, yeah, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Happy Easter, happy spring, happy dragon eggs, peace and love. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.